actually talk more about the four principles that you in the four services uh, you offer. Mm -hmm. It's one is diplomacy. Mm -hmm. And the genuine reason of that is to awaken young people to the big uh, reality of uh, geopolitics, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, even the politics within. But also building the asset person because these are transferable skills. Mm -hmm. The power of negotiation, the power of not working. How do you convince people to your way out? How do you, uh, you know, network with people? You know, wh when you go out there, how do you network? How do you, how do you, what interests do you have? Confidence, you know, public speaking. Mm -hmm. You must be very confident. You must be a, a research driven young person because now the, the world uh, uh, is driven by data analysis and research. So th those are the skills. The diplomat, how do you uh, how do you be organized? How do you you know transform? Then entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. That's the, the cornerstone of uh, a revived economy. You must have many entrepreneurs coming in. You must have a lot of startups coming in. How do you start a business? Because most people think the biggest hindrance to business is capital. But the biggest hindrance to business is the mindset. Mm -hmm. Once you clear all your mindset, capital will come in. You look for a way to get capital. So peace building. Peace building, we have fought, I think, many wars in Africa. Small conflicts, <laughs> tribal conflicts, yeah, community yeah. conflicts, uh -huh. then national conflicts. Yeah. Honestly, we need to uh, say we've fought enough, mm -hmm. but we've not taken people to the moon. Yeah. yeah. With others are venturing the moon, uh, the moon, others are fighting community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we need really to dream big and live our tribe. And, and why we focus on young people? Young people are always key players in this. Yeah. They don't use old people so that it's too high. They use young people. So they should be conscious enough to maintain embracing one another. You know, he, he, he's not from your tribe. Okay, that's fine. He's not from your tribe. He's unique. Could you embrace others? Could you reduce generational biases to drop them off? Because some communities have like, they, they carry on hate. Their grandfathers left them, their generation. Also, that community is evil. Yeah. We don't even well, worry from that community. <laughs> yeah. You see this, uh, like, uh, myopic stuff. Yeah. So we, we, and that thing, those things create biasness. Biasness creates hatred, and hatred breeds real conflict. So young people must be peace builders in your environment. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see, like, oh, I don't come from the same country. So embrace people. And rest people and then leadership, mm -hmm. uh, which is more important. We've blamed leaders, African leaders, African leaders, all very corrupt, all very old. But when can we stop blaming and start doing? Can we do those facts? And we understand that leadership is something uh, you can develop, is something you can learn. Mm -hmm. It's really a service you offer. There is a uh, is and leadership is community to act. It's not this because these leaders don't fall from heaven and come on earth. Yeah. They come from us. Those are our, some of them. They are our uncles. Yeah, they are brothers. Mm -hmm. We sit them on the table at night. We eat dinner with them. So it, it's it's a community. It's uh, like oh, uh, kin to kidogo, eh? to kidogo, kin to kidogo. <laughs> so those things that transfer. Yeah. So we need to develop like the leadership from community level then. To a higher purpose. Wow, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um. Now talk about the values of African birth. Wow. Well, definitely, you could even hear the values. Uh -huh. the, well, number one uh -huh. is transformation. Yeah, transformation. Because there is no need to tell people an Africans when people are still living in poverty. Mm -hmm. no. That's true. Excellence. You know, you we must be excellent in whatever we're doing. We must uh, unite on things that we really matter. We need to trans transcend. Okay, if you blame a leader on something on a on, on a tribal basis, mm -hmm. has your tribe taken people to the moon? Mm -hmm. Has they built skyscrapers? Have they built like uh, uh, yes. uh, tablets? Mm -hmm. No, we are still in the same small buildings. 
Yeah. Yeah. Roads crooked, hard. Mm-hmm. So we need it to ascend that you know diversity. We believe in diversity. I don't believe being African is just black. Mm-hmm. I believe being African is, is ideological. Because there are many black people, uh, black on the skin, mm-hmm. but very foreign in the yeah. inside. Have uh, you read the book by <laughs> Fanon? Yeah. Uh, black skins, white masks. Exactly. Oh, exactly, yeah. yeah. So the, the, I don't believe that you, you, because you're dark or whatever makes you African. Africans is a clear idea, is a person from my group who thinks that the unity of Africa, the peace of Africa, and the Africa, the prosperity that we need to spread. Yeah, so do, 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 those are things really that for us that matter and looking at the bigger picture. Um, so I said leadership, I said excellence, transformation, and diversity. We need to appreciate those each other. Yeah, Diversity is not about black and white Asian, mm-hmm. brown warriors. Those are even foreign apostles that we even don't know. Mm-hmm. So diversity is embracing your community members. It's anything different from you. Your I, your view, uh, your idea, how you think, how you organize, languages, you know, being appreciative of one another. Because it's when you appreciate that you can connect. And it's when you can connect that you can act. Yeah. And so when you can, you act that you can transform. And so when you can transform, then prosperity will be assured. So that the, 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 those are the few values we believe in. Uh, but now on uh, Africa is black. Mm. Like how how do you host your events? How frequent? Yes. And uh, how can one be involved? Yes. In yes. That, yeah. So how we we host events? We. Uh, we, so we have we have main three structures in African Republic. Mm-hmm. We have what we call the ambassadors program. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the mentorship program mm-hmm. and the, the research team program. Mm-hmm. So the, the ambassadors program uh, are young African leaders from every country of Africa that represent African Republic in their countries that transfer these values I'm talking about. And we, we, we select them quarterly in a year. Mm-hmm. It's, it's by quarter basis. How many countries do you have right now? We have over okay. 45 countries. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, an ambassador, what they do, they do like the real work of an ambassador. Mm-hmm. Representation, networking with potential partners, with, uh, networking with potential speakers, and networking you know, all the things really matter for African Republic. Mm-hmm. So those are those young people do tremendous work. Mm-hmm. They do very tremendous work. So how we even host our events is we, we invite you know top leaders in African government, mm-hmm. businessmen, uh, civil society leaders, academics. Mm-hmm. So it's those young people who connect us to such people. And then we invite them and connect to African Republic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's one way how we, we get even those high profile um, uh, speakers and guests. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's one way. The third way is, I told you, the mentorship program. So the mentorship program, we, we recruit young people from all five countries, 55 states. Yes, they, they, we train them a period of six weeks. Mm-hmm. Then, in those period of six weeks, we, we, we they invited guests, the ambassadors connect with us. They speak about different topics. Mm-hmm. But in relation to the four services, diplomacy, leadership, entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. and uh, peace building. So those four, those we, we, we have, it's really intensive. Uh, we, we meet every weekend, Saturday and Sundays. Mm-hmm. But even during the weekdays, we have a lot of programs. It's not only a training webinar. Mm-hmm. I myself call, call them, connect with them, and know about them, connect, a personal connection. But also, which is more important, mm-hmm. is we must make a, a platform where they connect yeah, for sure. to, with others. So we have programs, we have what we call a, a culture exchange, mm-hmm. promoting cultural difference. Mm-hmm. So this way, we, we group them into a group of five, five people mm-hmm. and connect and tell them their names, profession, and their cultures. 
We also have, uh, uh, we have like public speaking competitions. Mm -hmm. so people showcase their, 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 their talents, writing, speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a professional networking. Professional networking is we group people uh, in the same profession. If you're a doctor, mm -hmm. we, 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 we pair you with doctors in North Africa, mm -hmm. in South Africa, and in Southern Africa, East, West. So by the end of the program, people know each other, people know their profession, people know each other's passion, businessmen know each other, and they, they blossom. So by the end of uh, the program, six weeks, everyone knows the other, and everyone has at least, if you've never had a friend in a different region, live alone the country, you have it. Mm -hmm. That's how we, 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 we conduct our program. Yeah, actually, as you're speaking, I'm yeah. thinking of... Um, uh, there's something that you mentioned before yeah. about uh, developing research institutions in Africa. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Now, if you have this platform where you can connect someone from the north yes. and someone from the south, yeah. and we have these really good uh, laboratories yes. and research, and research yes. institutions, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that way we can collaborate exactly. and come up with some of the best solutions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. science. Yeah, you know, the COVID-19 COVID um, vaccines. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, thanks for, yeah. for sharing about that. And, um, Thank you. and all the webinars are always uh, posted on a YouTube oh, channel. Oh, yes, yes. We have a, a YouTube channel mm -hmm. that uh, people would want to subscribe to. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a social media platform. Mm -hmm. We are big on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Oh, so people what's the name? African River, all of them. Mm -hmm. and so when you uh, yes, African River, all of them. So you can connect mm -hmm. and really do a good job. Yeah, we'll embed the links in um, the description. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but um, I think you, you pay, you pay uh, all, everyone working with African River? Uh, part of them, mm -hmm. but... Uh, um, most of those ambassadors, mm -hmm. I don't have yet a budget to pay over 45 people this <laughs> amount of money. And they do it by volunteer basis. Yeah. So there is a volunteer program. And again, this is something we need to change it in an African way. Mm -hmm. Not all work is paid in form of cash. Mm -hmm. they, you need to give your service in any way you can. We're mm -hmm. still building up. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was checking on the internet and realized that um, mm -hmm. African debate is. Registered in Canada, right? Yes. yes. What inspired that? Ah, because you need to, hey, if you are going to that serious business, you need to formalize mm -hmm. everything. But we've also opened up a registration in the room. So, uh, having the continents, mm -hmm. uh, one registered here and but also registered in Africa, is yeah. a great deal. Yeah, uh, yeah. What was like, was it? Uh, what was the decision inspired by mm. the ease maybe to to register? Partner, yeah, to register, yeah. to make collaborations, oh, yeah. to apply for there are lots of funding opportunities in yeah. Canada, I guess. Yeah. So part of it is like it's where I stay now, mm -hmm. so I can do a lot of ground uh, work here. Mm -hmm. and yes, part of that. that. But also uh, to have um, the African diaspora involved. Mm -hmm. Because you have also not forgotten that there are also African people like yourself who don't live in Kenya, mm -hmm. so the, and, and many others. So, uh, also part of it to feel this is the organization itself, it's not mine, my organization, it's bigger it's, than me, it's our organization, it's our organization. Yes. yes, and yes. well wishes, uh -huh. yes, who want to be part of this, yes, so to get that move. Since I stay here yet for mm -hmm. now. So if I needed that you need to do more grand work here. Yeah, yeah but uh, before you go, mm. I have a quick fire. Which book are you reading right now? Oh, I'm reading a book uh, by Tony uh, Robbins. It's, it's about uh, uh, discovering your inner self and taking control of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, one word to describe Kagame. Uh, an action-oriented man. Um. Medi or the Ben? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think they are both good. Yeah. Uh, yes. But pick one. You have to pick one. 
I think I'll go with that then. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, okay. Um Diamond Platinums or oh, Sauchi so. I I'll go with that. Oh you don't like the bald man? No, I don't hate bald people. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you following Kenyan politics? Yes, I am. Yeah. Who, who do you think is likely to win in the 2020s? Me, I'm a fan of Ruto. Hustler. Hustler Nation. Hustler Nation. Yeah, what's your hidden talent? Uh, comedy. I'm a comedian. Ah, huh? Yeah. Then you but he's hidden. <laughs> There's no need to come with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you could spend a day in someone else's shoes, yeah. who's would they be? I and why? I don't spend in someone's shoes. I create my own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, describe yourself using three adjectives. Visionary, uh, research-oriented, and committed. Wow, I like that. Uh, what's your favorite food? I don't have favorite food per se, but I wouldn't mind. I like milk. If, if milk is favorite food, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it is. Milk. Yeah. yeah. Summer or winter, which one do you prefer? Oh, definitely summer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last one. Name hmm. two things that Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda... Uh, okay, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania have in common. One, they have nicest people. Mm-hmm. They have all countries have nice people, very kind, and very kind people, gentle, mm-hmm. and we, we all need development. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for we sure. all need development. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, from this conversation, I've learned a lot, and uh, I think you are hundred percent successful in changing my mindset on how uh, we as the youth can can be involved in making change mm-hmm. and. Uh, Ensuring that we have our best interests. Yes, that helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, right. So yeah. when I mention your name, I want to look at your face. <laughs> Thank you so much for hosting me. Found it cool. So uh, before even I share the the um, the social media, is no one can take up your destiny. It's you to size up your destiny. Not complain about it. It's you to fight it. Nope, no one can invite you on a table. You have to take yourself on a high table. Yeah. So find us and the best platform to grow that mindset is African football. Because we believe we like to call ourselves the GPS of Africa. So we are in every part, a part of Africa. Perhaps the one who's watching you in your country or one. But to learn more about us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channels our social media platform, on all social media platforms. Apart from TikTok, don't go there to subscribe, please. So, but all social media platforms, we have them. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah, and you can find your job at Africa and Rebirth. Yeah. Till next week, keep subscribing, subscribe to Africa and Rebirth channels. Goodbye. <laughs>